you may be hurt right now because some people may have walked out on you. They may have walked out on you and didn't give you any type of explanation. But you got to understand that some of these people that walked out on you, they going to miss out on you. See, some people walk out on you because they think that you need them. They want to see you hurt. And they think the same place that they left you in, when they come back around, that you're going to remain in that same place. Come on now. But I'm coming to let you know that you will not be in that same place that they expect you to be in. See, when people hurt you and they already have this deep-rooted uh, uh, hate against you, they want you to still be stuck at the bottom. They want you to still be hurt. They want to see you still looking sad. They want to see you post subliminal messages. Come on now. But they don't understand when they left you, it was part of God's plan to elevate you. Come on now. You're not going to be in that same spot that they left you in. You will not remain there. That's why you can't keep crying over people who walk out. You don't understand. Them separating for, from you was your elevation. You're not going to be in that same spot. They're going to miss out on you. See, what you're growing into, they didn't even expect that from you. You see what I'm saying? This is why when closed doors happen in your life, you ought to position yourself for the new doors that are opening in life. Come on now. I say they're going to miss out on you. They're going to miss out on you. See, a lot of people didn't take you serious. They took other people serious and then overlooked you. They didn't even know that God had treasure within you. Come on now. They didn't even see everything that you were going to become. See, some people see you in a season in your life and thinking that that's where you're going to remain. You're going to always be the same. You're going to always live over here. You're going to always work over there. You're going to always wear your hair like this. You're going to always have this type of style. They think that they have seen everything about you, but they didn't even know that you were still flourishing, that you were still growing. Come on now. They're going to miss out on you. You didn't miss out on anything, but if you allow them to have power over you, then you're going to miss out on your future. You're going to miss out on who you're becoming. You're going to miss out on your higher self. Come on, you better catch them diamonds. I'm coming to let you know you will not remain in the place that they left you in, in that hurt they left you in, in that shame they left you in. You're not going to remain there. If you give all your cares to God, let God take the mess that they created and cause a miracle in your life. I'm trying to tell you what I know. You better catch them diamonds. You will not be where they left you. They gonna miss out on you. And now they gotta watch you from afar. Come on now. They gonna have to watch you from afar. When they used to, to dodge you, now they trying to do everything they can to get in contact with you. They trying to find out where you be at so they can be there too. Now they trying to run into you. Come on, you know how they go. They wanna run into you now. They used to dodge you. Now they're trying to dodge other people just to get to you. Come on, catch them diamonds. And this is what you would call from lessons to blessings. Because even in this lesson, God is going to still open up a blessing in your life. Because everything you're going through is necessary. That is developing you to be exactly what God has called you to be. To do the things that God has called you to do. Sometimes that pain will produce power. Sometimes that pain will produce purpose in our life. Come on now. How you think we get the purpose? A lot of times it come from pain. A lot of times it come from disappointment. A lot of times our, our testimony comes from the, from the trauma in our life. Listen, I made this video for you personally because right now you may be heartbroken. Right now you may be asking why do people hurt you? Why do people leave you? I'm going to tell you in my experience, I've had people walk out on me before. But the only thing it did was teach me how to be okay when God says no. Come on. This is a real thing. And it doesn't matter who they are. Even when doors close, when it comes to jobs, people, places, and things, God was teaching me how to be okay and still move on with my life anyway because that is a part of God's elevation and leadership mentality. You have to be okay when people come in your life and you got to be okay when they leave. That's how a real leader stays afloat. Come on now. You can't lead people when you're always heartbroken and crying over who left and why did this happen? Why did that happen? You see what I'm saying? You have to be the leader in your life. 
especially before you think about leading other people because people are going to come and they're going to go. But see, what happened for me was God taught me a lesson to be okay when I say no because I know what I'm doing in your life and I know who they are. You may not see them the way that I see them, but just know that God sees people's heart and he's always protecting those who are close to him. Come on now. That is a real thing. Your life should not end just because somebody left. That is a new beginning for you because they have to move to create space and room for the person who belongs in that spot. Did you hear what I say? Let God remove those people who don't belong there so he can put people there who belong there. You got to trust God and when he moving pieces around in your life. Did you hear me? It is uncomfortable, but it's for your benefit. Catch them diamonds. <laughs>